Lots of you have been switching to keyboard and mouse lately, and I know because my comments have been flooded with you guys telling me that you're just starting to make the switch, and that is great. But there are some very important tips you should know when starting out to make the switch to keyboard and mouse as fast and as comfortable as possible. So just before jumping in, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and subscribe for more tips and tricks content in the future. And please use code COSMOS in the Fortnite item shop because it is the absolute best way to support me. And with all that being said, let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to cover was the proper way to do 90s as a beginner player for those of you who already know how to do 90s on keyboard and mouse might be watching this thinking is this dude really about to show us how to do 90s on keyboard and mouse yes i actually am because doing 90s is way harder than you think it is when you're first starting out it is important to learn how to do them correctly so you can get that part of your progression out of your way so you can move on to learning bigger things so i see tons of beginners do their 90s without a floor and this is something you don't want to get in the habit of doing this is because they have way less structure to them and are so much easier to shoot out. Also, sometimes you're gonna get trapped behind the ramp, forcing you down, which is gonna cause you to have to awkwardly step to the side and restart your 90, and you don't want that. You wanna first start off by doing a ramp up as if you were going to go ahead and do a 90. Place one wall in front of you and then turn to the right and place two walls. And then what you wanna do is jump, place your floor, and then jump and place your ramp. And now you've went ahead and done a 90. Seems simple, right? All you have to do is continue getting comfortable doing this, and then in no time, you'll be comfortable doing 90s perfectly and as fast as possible. Remember, take it slow and really learn the combo of keys you need to press to do a 90 and really get comfortable doing that. And I promise you guys, the speed will come in no time. I mean, just look at how bad I was when I first started doing 90s. Like if I can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. I believe in you. The next tip I wanted to mention is that you should be setting short-term goals. These goals could be something as simple as learning how to do 90s, winning your first game on keyboard and mouse, try to get three kills in your next match and so on. The reason you set small goals is so that when you complete them, you feel a sense of accomplishment that will motivate you to continue your keyboard and mouse progression. When I was a beginner, I wish I had started doing this because sometimes it was hard to find motivation for me. If I had just started writing down small goals, I could see how much I've accomplished throughout my journey and it would have motivated me so much to keep on going. I highly recommend doing this if you find yourself lacking motivation because it will definitely help you stay motivated throughout your keyboard and mouse journey. The next tip I have is to stay confident in game. This is way easier said than done, but if you can try to relax yourself and tell yourself that you're better than everyone in the lobby, you will be a more confident player in taking fights and will make other players scared of you. We see this very often in players like Mongol or Clicks. While they are already insane at the game, they treat every match like they're the best players in the match because let's be honest, they probably are. But in doing so, they are more confident players and run through players like it's nothing because of it. By telling yourself that you're better than everyone else in the lobby, it gives you confidence. It gives you the advantage above other players who might not be as confident as you. It helps you win more games games and really boost your mentality when you absolutely destroy a kid you thought would beat you in a fight all because you were the more confident player. The next tip we have is to create a warm-up routine that works for you. You should be using a warm-up routine especially as a beginner and it should consist of three things. Free building, aiming, and editing practice. I won't go super in depth on this as I've already made an entire video but to start off the warm-up routine you should be doing at least 10 minutes of free building which could be something as simple as you practicing 90s or messing around and trying different things. And then what you want to be doing is 10 to 15 minutes of aim training practice. My favorite maps to aim train on are Scavox Aim Trainer and Raider 464's 1v1 map. And then once you've done both of those, you're going to need some editing practice. And my recommendation is using Flea's Editing Dictionary. This map has so many different editing scenarios and it goes from easy to hard difficulty so you can just pick and choose what you want to practice. I also recommend doing this for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. And of course, you're free to tweak this routine and do it for more or less time. And you can use different maps if you want to, but this is just a quick routine for those of you who want a simple routine that targets all of the important skills you should be trying to build up as a beginner player. Our final tip is to use a low sensitivity or at least start on one. Majority of Fortnite pros use 400 to 800 DPI and use a relatively low sense. This is because it helps them to aim better and hit more of their shots. And now personally, I recommend you start an 800 DPI 4% X and Y and then make slight adjustments based on how it feels. If it feels too high, lower it a bit and if it feels too low, higher it a little bit. You want to do this a bunch of times and do a bunch of trial and error to see what works for you and what feels the most comfortable to you as well. When using a lower sense, you'll notice how much more control you have over your movements and aim and how much better the game will feel overall. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I had a ton of fun making this video and if you guys did enjoy it, please drop a like and subscribe and let's go for 50 likes in the
this video for another tips and tricks video like this. And if you guys want to support me further, please use code COSMOS in the Florida item shop because it helps me out so much. And with all that being said, guys, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one.